Now at 5.30, the hours are ticking by as we wait for NASA astronauts to lift off for the first time on this spacecraft. Here's a live look right now at the Boeing Starliner. So glad you're with us. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. You're watching News 6 at 5.30. We are continuing our coverage, counting down to the long-awaited launch. In just hours now, Starliner will blast off on top of an Atlas V rocket in the first ever crewed launch for Boeing. News 6's James Barvero joins us live now with the latest updates. James? Well, the fueling of the rocket continues right now, Matt and Lisa. That would be the Atlas V rocket out at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station at Launch Pad 41, waiting later for Butch Williams, Butch Wilmore, and Sonny Williams, the first Starliner astronauts flying on this test flight to the International Space Station for about a week. So we know the astronauts woke up at about 3 o'clock today. Perhaps right now they're having their ultimate meal, as they call it. That's the last thing they eat before they go to space. And then I can take you through what they're about to do a little later after they put on their spacesuits and they ride out to the launch pad. United Launch Alliance gave me access to the launch tower five years ago when we had a close race to get Americans back to space between Boeing and SpaceX. We know how that turned out, but at the time there was a lot of optimism that Boeing could in fact be first. So ULA took me on top of the launch pad, went about 175 feet over Cape Canaveral, walked the crew access arm just like Butch and Sonny will do tonight, pushed open the double doors of the white room where it's no turning back from there. When Butch and Sonny arrived here at Kennedy Space Center two weeks ago, because this mission's been so delayed, I had the chance to ask them about your safety concerns for this new spaceship. Take a listen to what they said. Given how publicized the delays for your mission have been, could you tell our audience more, each of you, why you believe the spacecraft is as safe as possible? Thank you. James, thank you. That's a good question. I mean, that's a, that's a fair question. Why do we think it's as safe as possible? We wouldn't be standing here if we didn't. We are ready. The spacecraft's ready. Yeah, I just want to add to that. I have all the confidence in, you know, not only our capabilities, the spacecraft capabilities, but also our mission control team who's ready for the challenge, and they're up for it, and they're, they're getting ready back in Houston. The veteran astronauts answering the tough questions like true professionals. Again, launch tonight is at 1034, an instantaneous window when you have crew going to the space station. So it's 1034, or it will have to perhaps take place tomorrow night. But for right now, again, everything is looking good. And our next report, Matt and Lisa, an update on the timeline. That's coming up with our Eric Von Aiken at the top of the hour. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results new six.